going on guys? This week I've been driving the 2019 Nissan Pathfinder. This is the SV Rock Creek Edition. So let's figure out what that means and jump into the review. So the Pathfinder is Nissan's three row family SUV. And believe it or not, the Pathfinder nameplate has been around since 1987. The Pathfinder used to be based on a truck platform, but now this fourth generation is based on a unibody platform. For a lot of people, this decision took away the off-roading cred that the Pathfinder once had. But here we're standing in front of the all new Rock Creek Edition, which is like a heritage model harping back to its off-roading cred. Every trim level of the Pathfinder can be had in two wheel or all wheel drive. To start out the lineup, you have an S, an SV, then you get this SV Rock Creek Edition, then an SL, you can get an SL Rock Creek Edition, and the top of the line is the Platinum. With that, let's check out what makes this Rock Creek different than the rest of the lineup. So up front you get this black trim signature grille. You get a unique lower front fascia. You get black accents on the front and rear bumpers. You get these black outside door handles, black side mirrors. You get these unique black over fenders and black roof rails. You get these unique 18 inch dark finish aluminum alloy wheels. You get this black Rock Creek Edition badging. You get this black trim right here above the license plate. You get a tow hitch receiver with seven pin wiring harness. You get these black accented splash guards. And sometimes it's really difficult to see all those black accents because we have this midnight pine metallic paint, which looks really dark unless you get in the right kind of sunlight where you can see it's a green pine. I really like it. Besides the Rock Creek accents, the Pathfinder got a facelift in 2017, so most of the body is the same. So first of all, I know what you're thinking. I went over a bunch of things that the Rock Creek gets that the normal Pathfinder doesn't get, but what makes this thing better off-road? Is it the ground clearance? Well, this Rock Creek has seven inches of ground clearance, which is exactly the same as the rest of the Pathfinders. Under the hood of the Rock Creek Edition is the same power plant that you get in the rest of the Pathfinder lineup. This is Nissan's 3.5 liter V6 engine. It pushes 285 horsepower and 259 foot-pounds of torque, and it's matched up to what Nissan dubs the Xtronic CVT. With this setup, you can tow up to 6,000 pounds, and your fuel economy for the four-wheel drive is 19 miles per gallon city, 26 miles per gallon highway, and if you're getting the two-wheel drive, you push both of those numbers up by one. Being a family SUV, obviously the trunk space matters. And this one has decent space, especially with the third row folded down. All right, like I said, this is a three row family SUV. Let's jump into the back first, check that out, and then we'll move into the driver's seat. All right, so one of the great things about the Pathfinder is the way that you get in and out of the rear seats. As a family man that needs to carry his family around, this is one of the easier SUVs you can get that gets you into the third row. You've got a little handle here, pull it up. Everything collapses, push forward and you have a huge amount of space to climb back. So obviously a lot of times I struggle to get in the third row of these three row SUVs, especially ones that aren't like the Tahoe or big, huge three row SUVs. I can get back here, but closing the seat and being comfortable back here is another story. This third row is definitely reserved for pinch situations or kids. The second row on the other hand has plenty of room, plenty of headroom, plenty of shoulder room, plenty of leg room. So if you're buying this thing for like camping and stuff and you're gonna have those third row seats folded down with a bunch of gear back there and you're hauling around four adults, this is perfect. You also get your own USB power back here and climate control. 
All right, so let's talk about the interior. So for the Rock Creek Edition, you get these special leatherette seats with cloth inserts and the Rock Creek Edition badging in the seats. You also get what Nissan calls the premium Rock Creek Edition trimming, which has this orange accent inside of it. It's pretty cool looking and matches with the orange contrast stitching on the seats. Tech wise, you get an eight inch touchscreen display. You do not get Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but you do get six USB ports throughout the cabin, including two right up here in the front and another two in the console. The two in the front are for charging only. The two in the console can be used for media. And like I said, you got two in the back as well. All right, so let's get moving and talk a little bit about the drive. So like I've said, this is essentially a basic Nissan Pathfinder. The Rock Creek stuff is pretty much all cosmetic. So it drives like a normal Pathfinder, which is a good thing. If you've seen my other Pathfinder reviews, which I'll link up in the iCards, you'll know I really like this thing for a family three row SUV. I think it's comfortable, it drives good, it gets good fuel economy, it's easy for the kids to get in and out. It's got enough space to haul some stuff, including your family, and it's a really good price. Obviously, you can't just do a Rock Creek review without talking about some off-roading, so let's get into that right now. So this does have Nissan's intelligent 4x4. It's got the easy selector for your drive modes. You've got a two-wheel drive mode, an auto mode, and a lock mode. You also get a hill start assist feature and a hill descent assist feature. So if you've been keeping up with the other videos on this channel, you'll know I've been posting a lot from an off-road event that we went to. And this exact vehicle was at that off-road event and it handled pretty well. Problem is I got exactly zero seconds of footage while it was out there. Good job, Adam. So if you're considering getting a Pathfinder Rock Creek Edition, it's a 995 upgrade on the MSRP of the vehicle. This one that I'm sitting in, the SV Rock Creek, is 39675 So while I think that's a decent price, I don't think I would be picking this for my off-roading vehicle. I would probably invest that thousand dollars into more premium features in the Pathfinder. But if you are getting this for a little adventure off-roader, it's not bad. All right guys, and with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Pathfinder and the Rock Creek Edition. And as always, thanks for watching.